Well, thank you everybody for your uh, uh, for your presence at this uh, uh, in integration for topic integration conference. Um, as we are as you to see, we are relatively new kids on the block in the photonics uh, domain. Uh, I thought let me first introduce uh, CITC uh, to all of you. So um, we are relatively recently founded uh, in 2019 by Holland Semiconductors and the TNO and the University of Delft. Um, we are located on the Noviotech campus in Nijmegen. And, and what we do, we develop uh, innovation for tomorrow. So those are future products which come to market in two to five years time. And in that case, we develop robust semiconductor and photonic packaging technologies. Where our, our current uh, main focus is in the power domain, RF, additive manufacturing and photonic integration. Okay, some metrics from our CITC. So we have three major semiconductor companies as our initial partners. Uh, you can guess who, who are located in Nijmegen. Um, we have 15 people of our own staff out of seven nationalities. And added to those 15 people, we have six PhDs, MSCs, or graduate students. And since we started, we have set up a complete backend assembly research and development lab. Uh, in our work, we work together with uh, academic partners. Uh, those could be universities like, uh, the, of course, the University of, of Delft, but also uh, University of Eindhoven. And from the industrial point of view, we work together with material suppliers, uh, especially in the domain of uh, silver center materials, substrate suppliers, uh, IC and component manufacturers, equipment suppliers like uh, uh, Tegema and also with uh, FineTech, and with system integrators, which is of course also uh, Tegema. And not to forget the uh, PI in instruments. So there's an overview of where we are. Uh, so we have our own uh, infrastructure uh, in our labs. So we are located in, in this building, in building M on the Noviotech campus. But as there are many more companies active in backend packaging, we work closely together. Uh, we work with uh, EPR, NTS, Amplion, Sensio, NXP and Xperia. And we share our infra infrastructure uh, amongst each other. So that means that we have a quite extensive possibilities of uh, R&D work, what we can do. Our own um, uh, infrastructure is uh, rapidly increasing. So this gives an overview of the equipment, what we have in house. So uh, yeah, Ralph also already mentioned it, but we have a fine tech, fine placer uh, Sigma in our lab for submicron accurate uh, dye bonding. Uh, for automatic dye bonding, we have a machine from Tresky. And in the meantime, we have a machine or a setup on which we can perform R&D work for photonic uh, integration. Or, and on that, we have two alignment modules and a dispensing system from both PI and uh, the GEMA. A dispensing robot, we have several uh, curing ovens to uh, to uh, study the assembly processes and all sorts of uh, wire bonding machines. Um, so where we focus mainly on on the back end assembly, we also work together with the front end facilities of TNO Holst and of the TU Delft. So if you are looking into something specific uh, which we need from front end point of view and we would like to make use of in the back end, then we reach out to those uh, partners. So CITC, we have three, um, three core activities. First of them is access to innovation. So that's where we work together with uh, customers or with, uh, with partners to develop new innovative uh, packaging technologies. We provide access to our infrastructure. So if uh, people want to develop something on their own, they are welcome in our lab to make use of our equipment. But we also want to educate the younger generation, how interesting the backend assembly process is. So for that, we provide access to education where we have set up a university program that people can actually study and learn a lot of this uh, interesting technology field. So 
In, at CITC, we have four focus programs, as I mentioned earlier. So we, uh, we call them program one to four. These are multi-year research programs uh, in which we empower the industry to have new products in the market in two to five years time. Uh, first program is thermal high performance packaging. That's where we focus on um, die attach process or die attach, uh, high performance die attach for uh, high power applications. And in that field, we make mainly use of the nano silver sintering technologies. With program two, it's called RF chip packaging. It's um, it's basically where we develop antenna and chip applications, uh, putting multiple components in a single chip and have them work properly together in both the RF domain, but also on the thermal uh, aspects. Program three is digital manufacturing. So it's like uh, additive manufacturing uh, technologies, which we would like to bring into the semiconductor packaging domain. And of course, program four, that's what we are here about today, is the integrated photonics uh, packaging. So that's all about CITC. Now we're focused on, on, in, on photonic packaging. Um, so if we talk to customers or we talk to other people in this uh, active in this field, we see four main topics. Everybody seems to be looking for an increased density of functions. So more and more optical functions are uh, needed on the chip. So that means there's more functionality required per square millimeter. Our hunger for data uh, it means that there's an increase in bandwidth. And these two combined is results in an increased electrical and optical IO density. And also, also uh, that requires advanced assembly technologies. And of course, we want to make this in a high volume, low cost, uh, or at least a cost effective uh, methods. Okay, so for that, uh, we have uh, four, so at CHC, we, we are developing now some uh, technology building blocks to address these uh, previously described uh, challenges. So to address the challenge of high IO density, we are working on a, a nano silver center based flip chip technology, which allows us to flip chip photonic dyes on a substrate uh, with very small pitch. Think of uh, around 10 micron pitch. Um, the, from the program two, we have a lot of knowledge on how to integrate multiple devices in a single package and still uh, provide good RF and thermal performance. Um, the discussion on passive alignment has already been done, but uh, we are, uh, we think that we can develop technologies which, which allows passive alignment for, for large volume manufacturing. And then we plug a standard optical connector to that package. And from the knowledge which we have from the semiconductor assembly technology, we are thinking of a panel scale assembly, uh, which is an overmolded package, uh, which can be used on the, or can be mounted on a um, printed circuit board. So let me just show you this moonshot of what we think a photonic packaging could look like using our uh, technology building blocks. So what is represented here is a cartoon of, of such a package. Uh, this is a printed circuit board, as you can see here, and an overmolded package with all the individual devices in there. If you simulate these packages, we zoom into such a single package and it looks like this. So we have a single package which is mounted on a, on a uh, printed circuit board and on the backside we have a ball grid array. And in this package, we integrate all the components or all the electrical hardware, which is required to make a functional optical device. So both the electronic dyes, but also the photonic dyes. And here at the end, we have an optical end facet, uh, which allows optical communication to the outside. Zooming in on that structure. Uh, so this is a cutout. Um, we have an optical die, and this is the optical layer here. And we want to flip chip that to a uh, optical layer on the printed circuit board, which will be discussed by uh, the, in the next talk. So from our programs, which we, what we can bring to these technologies is uh, high power or high um, 
um, high quality die attached processes. So we use silver sinter materials to bond a, a cooling element or a heat element to the backside of the die. Uh, that's a robust die attached process. Um, from program two, we have knowledge how to integrate all sorts of components into the package while still maintaining a good RF performance. We develop materials which has a certain uh, dielectric properties for uh, also to gain or to maintain the RF requirements. In program four, we are, will develop a passive optical interconnect which simply uh, snaps on the, this package. Um, from program two, uh, we are developing high density flip chip uh, bonding processes, also using the same material as we use from program one. So we are thinking of a, a flip chip bonding process in which we use nano silver materials to create an electrical interconnect from chip to the uh, printed circuit board. From program three, which is an additive manufacturing technology, we want to develop technology where we make optical interfaces or 3D print optical interfaces to match the mode field from the chip to the waveguide. And <clears throat> the idea is to make that in a single process step. So flip chip the die into the package and then in one process step create the uh, electrical interconnect and also the optical interconnect. So that brings me to uh, the questions.